Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick show. We're going to be doing more Pillars of the Earth. And uh, we're trying to find some stuff right now. Specifically Jack. Jack is in there. I've not seen him in days. I need to tell him. Oh, can I go in other places though? I need to tell Jack now. Okay. Or I'll never tell him. <sighs> One day we'll tell everyone everything about us, Ali. All of them. Maybe we should have told everyone, while we still could. Maybe there would have been ways to make it last. Jack! Oh, what is he doing in there? Jack! Jack. At least I still have my hair. Where can we go from here? Anywhere we want. What is this? I told you I had a surprise for you. Remember? This is it. What is it? It's a... Uh, a first version of a fulling mill. It's fulling the cloth all by itself using the motion of the water wheel. Yes. What do you think? You'll be able to sell even more cloth, not just wool, like you wanted to. It's a, it's a brilliant invention. It's what I always wanted. Then why do you look so sad? William Hamley. We will go someplace else then, where he won't find us. He will find me, wherever I go. You can't just give up. I'm not giving up and I'm not running away and because I'm not running away there is something I have to tell you it's not what I want to do it's what I have to do oh Jack I what is it I wish things were different. What things? I'm getting married. To support Richard. To whom? It's not important. William will burn down anything that I build up. This is the only choice I have. My husband will pay for Richard's expenses. It's the only way my brother can protect our people. I will marry you. I love you, Jack. And I always will. But look at yourself. You are a good man, Jack. 
And monks can't marry. Then I will stop being a monk. And what then? I don't know. It's not your fault. If I had money, I could support you. Oh, don't say that. There is only one man to blame. Who is it? What? Who are you going to marry? income from the houses he builds in Shiring and Winchester, and he is a master builder now. What? Dear Francis, once you asked me if I often think of our parents. do, and I often think of the day they were killed, and of how Abbot Peter took us in. Peter raised us and taught us about God. We grew up in the safety of the monastery. Only now have I begun to understand that outside the priory, the killing continued every single day. I have come to believe that if God was just, he would not allow all the pain and bloodshed. <sighs> A few days ago, William Hamley and his men attacked us. Many died by their hand. Milius is dead. First, I believed I had brought the devil to Kingsbridge. For I thought I had seen him in Lincoln. The last few nights, I did not sleep. I was afraid that in my dreams I might flee from his grasp in blind terror toward the river and drown like Prior James did. But I know this is not the work of the devil, but of man. But why does God not put an end to it. Most of what Abbot Peter taught us was right. For he taught us about living in seclusion, away from sin, away from want away from the world that turns man against man. I know I blamed you for what happened after we got involved with Bishop Whalen. I do not anymore. But I blame our church and men like Whalen because they involved themselves in the bloodshed. As Peter taught us, I will go into seclusion. The answers I seek are not out there. Maybe I will find them in here. Put that away! Stop it immediately! No, Jack! Oh! Jack! Jack! <laughs> no, this is not what we do! Get off me, you freak! No! <laughs> Jack! 
Take him away. Lock him up. Damn. Won't fit through here. Not worth trying. I'm no monk. Once I'm out, I'll never come back. Philip locked me in, like an animal. They fed me, like a dog. Hate anyway. It's all useless. No. It's all useless. No. Well, those are all the ideas I got. Damn, this game's getting too real, ladies and gents. What aren't they going to cover here? What, what heartstrings are they not going to tug on at this point? said one of the stones will sound hollow. Is this the one? I can't just lift it up. Oh, the cracks are too narrow to pry it out with my hands. Maybe I can use the ball? I'm really hungry, but I'm not going to beg. This could be it. Oh yeah, that one sounded... Ugh. Okay, so let's try and pry it with the bowl. The bowl would crack. The slab's too heavy. Hmm. What else we got here? That won't work. I don't care who's on the other side. I have nothing to say to them. Nothing. That's what you get for helping to build walls. <laughs> they put one right in front of you. Uh, I won't fit through there. I don't think so. Uh... I don't have any other ideas, really. No, I... Uh, I might need it. No, I... I just want to get out, then walk away and never come back. Now, the bowl would crack. The slab's too heavy. Um... Not this time. This slingshot won't help. Maybe we can lift one of the smaller stones? There we go. With that hole, I could lift the slab out. She was right.
Jack. Tell me, was it about Aliena? I know about you two. I have known for a long time. And, and how did you know how to get out of that cell? Hmm. How did you know? Your father. He was locked up in there as well. Was he a monk? <laughs> no. They said he was a thief. But he was not. They hanged him. But he was innocent. How? How did it happen? Someone here in Kingsbridge gave him a jeweled cup and told him he could go. A mile down the road, he was arrested and accused of theft. It was like a game to them. They said he had stolen that cup from the Priory. Who said that? Three men. He managed to escape the way you did. But they caught up with him. They hanged him in Shiring. Who were those men? It does not matter. It is all in the past now. Once you told me my father was a jongleur, that he came from France. That is what he told me. Who is Jack's father? Rumors about Jack's father, early summer of 1141. According to Jack's mother, the rumors about his father are true. He really was hanged for theft and shiring. Yet Ellen claims that Jack Sherberg was no thief. She is convinced that three men were responsible for his death. These men gave him a jeweled cup from the Priory of Kingsbridge and later arrested him for theft. Ellen does not want to talk about the men responsible for Jack Sherberg's death. Who were they? And though she had been in love with the French jongleur, the circumstances of how he had come to England and where he had come from remain a mystery even to her. You want to leave? What if I have family there? There must be someone who remembers Jack Sherberg, right? <sighs> I knew this day would come. I'm... I'm not a monk. I know. And I... I can't work here with Alfred. I know. You really love her, don't you, Aliena? Yes. You truly are his son, Jack Jackson. This place is too small for you. After your father died, I... I went into the forest... to get away from it all. But, if you live like an animal, then they treat you like one. Do not let them. Ever. Find your way in the world. And, and when it leads you back to me, I want to hear lots of new tales. <laughs> of course. Those that killed your father, the people they killed, will return to haunt them. I promised them. Waylaren disrespects you. Uh, after all I've done for him. Why rely on him for salvation? There are many priests, many bishops. Maybe. But you are not making decisions for me either, Walter. No one is. If the Lord wants me to support Waylaren, he will let me know. And what if he does not? What then? Will you allow Waylaren to order you around? The objective is close the door, it's cold. But something tells me there's gonna be more than door closing happening here. Guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel. These Pillars of the Earth episodes come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the storyline so far. It's a doozy. It's got me all messed up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.